Razorback and SEC fans, don't forget to check out the Pig Trail Network Patreon page. Only $4 a month, which goes towards supporting the YouTube channel. You can find the Patreon link down below any PTN video in the description box. If you'd rather make a one-time donation, that is also located in the description box as well. Thank you for all of your support, and of course, Woo Pig Suey! What's going on, Arkansas Razorback fans, SEC fans everywhere? Hog fans, I know this Friday morning had to be tough. I'm actually recording this in the middle of the night, Thursday night, Friday morning. So I'm kind of tired, so forgive the if, – if you see me, I'm, I'm not I'm, – I'm just – I'm tired. It's been a long, long day, but uh, and I'm sure you can relate. But Friday has to be tough. I know it's going to be, and I know it probably was, but, you know, you made it through it. Hopefully you had your McDonald's, bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, maybe an egg McMuffin, maybe you had your coffee. If you're like me, I don't like cream and sugar, just straight black. Every once in a while, I'll splash a little milk just to spice things up. But, you know, that's how I roll. I just want to say this before we touch up on the series a little bit. They opened up Bomb Stadium. Hunter Yurchak, the AD, opened up Bomb Stadium for games two and three. And I went to both. I wasn't at game three for very long. Game two, I was there for, like, half, oh, more than half the game, I think, like, for six, seven innings. But I got to meet several of you, and you guys were so nice and had kind things to say about the show, and I really do appreciate that. You guys were awesome. One lady came up to me, and she said, you're that Ty Ziller. You're that Ty Ziller guy on, on the on the YouTube. And I said, yep, that is me. It's Ty Zilla, 80, 83 is, is the what I go by. But, no, thank you. You were, you were uh, close. But, again, you guys were awesome. Thank you so much. Don't ever be afraid. If you see me out in public around uh, Fayetteville, Springdale, here in Northwest Arkansas, don't be afraid to approach me and say hi and, you know, whether you have good or bad things to say about the about the show. Don't be afraid. Uh, the game, or the series, I should say, it is tough. It's tough to swallow. It's tough to consume any media right now or any sports media on, on, on social media because all they're talking about is Oregon State. For good reason. After all, they did win the College World Series National Championship. They took home the hardware. The Arkansas Razorbacks are going home empty-handed. But here's what I will say. Um, we could go into stats and talk about this and that, but I'll just say this. You know, I know Oregon State didn't play their best baseball. Did they deserve to win? That's a that's tough to answer because they didn't. They should have been swept. Arkansas played some of its worst baseball in postseason play. From the SEC tournament through the regionals, even since in Omaha, their worst baseball, and they should have swept Oregon State. They should they should have swept Oregon State. Should have been two zero. Something I didn't say. I thought if Arkansas was going to win it, I, I said it's going to take three games, and I even picked Arkansas to win it in three games. I didn't see that foul ball. I, you know what happened there when that foul ball landed, and, and all they need to do is make that catch. I should have ended the game. I think that zapped every bit of, you know, whatever you want to call it, uh, uh, any bit of momentum that they had, they lost it. It was gone, and game three was just nothing but an uphill battle. Two hits. Game three, two hits. Again, they played some of their worst baseball and still should have won game two. Oregon State knows that. I think Oregon State knows the baseball gods smiled down and and gave them their third, for whatever reason, gave them their third trophy. You would think they would look at a program that's trying to get their first and give them the advantage, but no. That's asking too much. But again, Oregon State, they did do enough in Game 3. They were the better team in Game 3. After that mistake by the Razorbacks, they were the better team in Game 2. You know, (laughs) after after the, the... Foul ball. As, as for that exact play, I think I've heard about a hundred different ways that should have gone down. I think someone should have flagged everybody else off. There should have been some communication there, and someone that that should have been a routine catch. That was a playable ball. That was a catchable ball, and I don't know what happened. That was that's still one of the craziest things. That's going to wind up on a baseball blooper highlight reel somewhere. Even twenty years from now, I could see that happening. You know, and uh, as as for the fans who are weighing in on whether or not that was a more you know more impactful, more meaningful thing to happen versus the Clint Sterner fumble, this times ten. I mean, had they made that catch, they would have won the national title. The fumble, the Clint Sterner fumble. They still, you know, they lost that game. They turned around. They lost the next weekend. I mean, who would have know? Who, who knows what would have happened had they beaten Tennessee? Had Clint Sterner not fumbled the ball? Had they would they have turned around and beat? 
Mississippi State the following week. Who knows? But, uh, no, this this was a bummer. This was really too bad. Again, Oregon State did everything they need to do and then some in, in game three. I can't believe that pitcher, uh, Abel, 20 straight batters he retired. 20 straight. That's incredible. But, again, I think a lot of that says more about Arkansas's hitting. It just wasn't there. I don't. I don't know if it was swinging at junk or if they were just watching the ball go over the plate. I really don't know. It's it's um, it's hard to say unless you're, you know, who, I can't read their minds. But it does seem like they were kind of swinging at junk off and on, and they were watching the ball fly right over the plate. But again, you have to credit Oregon State pitching. They shut Arkansas down through all three games for the most part. But uh, again, having saying that, they played some of their worst baseball and still should have swept Oregon State. Could have, would have, should have. Didn't happen. You know, they didn't win a single three game series away from Bomb Stadium. That's something they got to work on next year. They got to figure that out. But I'm going to say this to close it up, though. Great season. One for the books. What a year. What a team. What a coaching staff. I don't know who's coming back next year. I don't know if they're going to be able to match what they did this year. But if they come close, they're going to be back. They're, they're going to be back in Omaha. They're going to be back in the same situation playing for a national title. I don't know, but anything's possible. If there's one thing that you should know about Arkansas baseball, and especially Dave Van Horn, they're special. And uh, I still say Dave Van Horn's the best coach to have on campus. We'll wait to see on Chad Morris, but uh, Dave Van Horn means a lot to this program and to that baseball team. So congratulations to the Razorbacks. A great year. It's just too bad you couldn't, you know, finish it off. That's okay, though, you know. There's always next year, and I think, again, with this baseball team, anything's possible. Congratulations to Oregon State and to any of the fans that come through here. You guys got a hell of a club. The fans seem to be – fans, for the most part, seem to be pretty cool on social media. Of course, you're always going to have your, your crazies. They're on both sides. But, uh, yeah, so that's going to do it for for the uh, for this video. Thank you guys so much. Remember to like, comment, share the content that you just watched. Of course, if you haven't already, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell as well. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Go Hogs.